Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just doing kind of like an impromptu video. Um, I just wanted to show you guys some products that I was using today and they are by the brand Curlsmith. Um, I've used these products before, so if you are interested, just keep watching. So the line that I'm going to mainly be talking about in this video is the scalp recipe line from Curlsmith. I believe these products came out when? October-ish? Or maybe way before that, but I did purchase them on Black Friday because that is when they had a deal. Because if you know Curlsmith, their products are on the pricier side. But I like when you pay for what you get. I cannot stand paying a bunch of money for products and they don't work. They suck. That is not the case with these products. So I'm excited about that. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys what I used in the shower and we'll go from there so this is the super slip prebiotic primer this is what you apply to your hair first before even shampooing each one of these products from this line have a couple of facts on them so this one says that prebiotics are nutritive compounds that feed the scalp's protective barrier the microbiome creating the perfect environment for hair follicles this is a pre-wash treatment for all hair and scalp types this balance stimulates protects and detangles so it says ingredients in here are balanced prebiotics fermented rice water guarana extract organic ginger root dragon fruit juice organic wild nettle this is 12 fluid ounces so it's not your regular eight ounce product so this is the first step in the treatments what you do with this is basically you run it through your hair detangle all the knots and everything in there while using just your fingers only after i got most out with my fingers i did use my brush and that's something that i need to kind of get away from using while i wash my hair if it's not super tangled because i've had a lot of breakage as you can see up here i have a lot of flyaways and i've really been breaking my hair so another thing i decided to do is kind of style my hair in different directions and not keep using this middle part because the hair on top is kind of like suffering because it's always exposed it's always out and i'm gonna really start using this line a lot more so basically this is used to prep your hair before you cleanse it it helps stimulate your follicles and protects your hair overall to prevent that breakage that you usually get when you are detangling your hair. Now, does that product have slip? I would say yes, not a whole lot, but it does have slip in there. I feel like I've used more of that product than any of the other ones while I was in the shower. So this product might end up running out before all the other ones do. Next up is this Wash and Scrub Detox Probiotic. This is a clarifying scrub shampoo for all hair types. This you exfoliate, clarify, and cleanse with. So some ingredients in here are probiotic cultures, apple cider vinegar, organic ginger root, dragon fruit juice, eco-friendly scrub, organic wild nettle, guarana extract. And again, all these also say at the bottom, zero spoons of sulfates, parabens, silicones, mineral oils, phthalates, DEA. So this product is eight ounces. All these these products again if you don't know Curl Smith, I'll tell you guys cruelty free certified organic ingredients and vegan so this is the second step in the line this one you basically go in with and scrub the scalp and exfoliate with it says to apply on wet hair after you use the super slip prebiotic primer massage vigorously into your scalp to break down product buildup rinse off thoroughly your hair will feel squeaky clean good that's the proof it worked follow with the curlsmith postbiotic calming conditioner to rebalance moisture and ph levels this fact on here says that probiotics are microorganisms that strengthen the scalp's protective barrier so with this product a little goes a long way i do directly apply it to my scalp so i had my hair sectioned off and i did section by section washing with each step i just apply it to my scalp it does lather a bit and since it is a scrub you think that you're gonna feel like really like pebble like things like feel a texture to it this product is very sandpaper like i guess because it's so light that some you don't even really feel the particles they're very very tiny but it does definitely cleanse your scalp i felt my hair kind of open up especially after this step when you do go in with the next product we're going to talk about so this does break down build up and all that good stuff i really enjoyed this product and this on top of that prebiotic that you put in oh so i forgot to mention so the prebiotic primer you actually have to leave on your hair you don't rinse it out that is the main thing about this product and i forgot to mention it so you put that prebiotic in the primer so you put that prebiotic primer in and then you go ahead and use this on top of it so you kind of keep that slip and you also are protecting your hair while you're cleansing it so that your hair is not super stripped and you're not damaging it while you're in that process of cleansing your hair which is a big issue for a lot of people and that is why a lot of people don't like using 
clarifying shampoos because they feel that it strips their hair too much, which later leads to breakage. Some people end up using co-washes all the time, which also isn't that great because you get a lot of buildup. Last product in the system set is this, which is the Postbiotic Calming Conditioner. This restores, refreshes, soothes, and hydrates your hair. This says postbiotics are beneficial extracts from good bacteria that regulate the scalp's protective barrier, the microbiome. In this calming conditioner, you have active postbiotics hyaluronic acid, biotinol complex, peppermint oil, organic lavender, tea tree leaves, organic thyme oil, thyme, I don't know how people pronounce that. Um, so this says to just apply generously onto your wet hair after using the Curl Smith Wash and Scrub Detox Probiotic. Coat all strands evenly and let it sit for one to two minutes to perform its soothing and rebalancing action on the scalp rinse off thoroughly. So a big thing when these products came out was that they offer that hyaluronic acid, which you mostly see in skincare products that promote elasticity and all that good stuff and moisture retention. So with here, it says that the hyaluronic acid is known as a moisturizing miracle. Just one gram of it can hold up to six liters of water. We've applied the same science to help restore scalp moisture and rehydrate dry, tired hair. Tea tree and mint essential oil Oils are widely known for their cooling antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties, which help rebalance and refresh the scalp. This product is the truth, guys. I absolutely love, love, love this product. I let it sit in my hair for way more than two minutes. I basically showered. You know, you can shave your legs and do all that in the shower while you're kind of waiting for this to kind of sit in your hair. You definitely feel that peppermint, like that tingly feeling. And after you rinse this out your hair, your hair is super defined. Find. And honestly, your hair is super defined from the point of after using that scrub on your hair to clarify, which was really interesting. This product is 12 ounces as well. I did not use most of it. This one you can kind of see. So you could kind of see here, this is where I used up to and I've used this product twice in my hair. So that is really good because these products are expensive. So I have a lot of hair as well. So that is really impressive for two washes that I've only used this much of product. And I was pretty heavy handed with it. I was going in. With the primer I'm about down here, so that's almost half the bottle. And that's why I was saying in the beginning of the video, this might be the first product to go. And that kind of sucks because you need this. This is the first step of this whole system. So I wish they were able to evenly be used, but maybe I was being heavy handed. So lastly is this product. So this product here is a mask. This is not part of the system per se, but it is part of the scalp line. So they did go and make a mask and this is the Hydro Cream Soothing Mask. This is a deep conditioner for all hair types. It balances, restores, and has intense hydration. So with this product as well, just like the calming conditioner, this one has hyaluronic acid, cedarwood extract, organic lavender, green tea extract, organic thyme, smashed amla. It says after your regular wash routine, apply all over your hair from root to tip for quick soothing boost. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes before rinsing. For a deep soothing treatment, leave on for 30 minutes then rinse. So what I did was use this after even using that conditioner, I used all three steps. Threw this in my hair while it was parted. I worked on each section to make sure I worked it in well. This was the first time using this product and I didn't use much so that's not too bad this product is eight ounces it was very soothing it didn't say to apply heat but for the most part if you apply heat to a deep conditioner or mask you usually get the most out of it and this left my hair very very soft even now feeling it still super soft and my hair is really defined and then I was able to rinse it out and finger detangle my hair in the shower would I repurchase these products definitely I would I have to kind of focus on re growing my hair and really taking care of the strands so I can prevent all this breakage up here that I'm struggling with right now. And you know, kind of with this quarantine thing, sometimes I would wash my hair deep condition and then not even style it. And then my hair would be dry because I don't even add any leave-in and those kind of things. So I need to stop doing that. And it's kind of hard with work now because we're always wearing like a cap over our head while we're working for 12 hours until we're done with our shift in the hospital. So I don't know if that kind of sucks out moisture from my hair too. So yeah, I hope 
hope you guys are kind of dealing with this quarantine in a very positive way. If you're able to stay home and work from home, if you got laid off or whatever it might be, that definitely is very hard to deal with. But make sure at least you're being proactive and taking the steps of like kind of pausing payments on your cards or your mortgage or whatever it is. Like staying proactive and trying to find ways to deal with it instead of kind of being down in the dump. I was definitely very down for a while. Like mentally it was just exhausting with all the changes at work and all we're going through in the hospital. It's just crazy. So yeah, I mean it's hard but we kind of just got to get through it and I hope sooner than later this all passes. Just make sure you're spending your time wisely. You don't need to freaking build a company in quarantine but you should be doing stuff that are beneficial to you so yeah to quickly cut into this i'm gonna just start styling my hair i'm quickly just gonna mention the products i'm using and i'll just have like some chit chat while i'm doing my hair so the two products that i'm gonna style my hair with today are also from curlsmith this is from their original line the moisture line this is the oil and cream that acts as a leave-in for thicker hair for extra thirsty curly or kinky hair and then this is a curl defined Finding styling souffle and this is also for thirsty coily or kinky hair so the oil and cream says here it's to moisture nourish and provide shine and then the souffle is to enhance your curls provides anti frizz and bounce I'm usually able to just style my hair with the oil and cream I'm gonna try mixing them today both scents on each line are different but they both smell really good the moisture line is not super fruity but it does have like a fruity scent to it and then the scalp recipe line is more more like of a fresh smell. After I'm done and kind of diffuse my hair and all that good stuff, I'm gonna go in with the scalp stimulating booster. This you use in the daytime. They also have one that you use for the evening. I'm gonna try to start using these more regularly and doing scalp massages because like I said, I need to grow my hair out and I just wanna keep everything healthy. Just quickly show you guys the product. This I've used multiple times. It's eight ounces and a little goes a long way. That was the oil and cream. This is the styling souffle. So it is is jelly like I've actually never tried just styling my hair with the souffle, believe it or not. I don't know why. But they have a lot of other products within their moisture line, so definitely go check out their website. I will leave it down in the description box for you guys to check out. Um, it's an awesome company. I really like it, and the packaging is just beautiful. I love it so much. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, I know I just went through it really quick because I just want to show you what products I use. Just let me know down below, and I can answer any questions for you. I think I have almost, if not all, of their products. So this is my hair after rinsing out. I did three steps plus the mask and this is how my hair looks hair is very very soft and it just feels so clean and lightweight so I'm gonna go ahead and style my hair while we talk and we'll go from there so before I cut off in between what I was saying um, I was saying like you just you don't have to do anything crazy while you're off, but just make sure you're doing stuff that is beneficial to yourself and your family. Like if you have time to spend with your kids, do that. With your loved ones, do that. This is definitely a time to humble yourself and realize that <laughs> this stuff does not discriminate against anyone. We're all in the same situation um, in terms of having to stay in. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Some people are just a little too much and they're just like, they're dying. Like they need to be outside doing what? I don't know. But yeah, like read a book books there's online ebooks like like there's a whole bunch of stuff amazon still open order stuff order some books order some little things you could work on like project things that you can do with whoever you live with to kind of spend time and bond let's face it like our lives are crazy like you spend so much money on a place and you're never really home i personally like when i'm not working at least i have other days of the week that i'm home that i can just enjoy it which i do and i'm very intentional on spending time like in my own home enjoying what i have now and all that stuff but you know when you go out to events and all that stuff too that also takes time away from this stuff and some people are just not like homebodies. Like I like to be home unless it's like a beautiful day out. Summertime is my time to shine. Like I need to be out in the sun living my life. But at the end of the day, I also would prefer staying in, you know, or being on the terrace or something like that. So let me know what you guys are doing 
as you stay home, if you're working on anything, a lot of time to really think and reflect. That's the word I'm looking for. Like really reflect on like what you've done in the past year or five years and see what you want to do differently. Now that you're at a standstill, like God forbid something didn't work out right now, you could kind of see like maybe this is a time to reflect and see should you kind of change the course your life is on right now. Like there's a couple of things like I'm thinking about and really need to make a decision about much sooner than later that really like changes like the course your life is on right now on a serious note that's something definitely to think about but then on a funny note like all the memes and stuff like people are hilarious about this quarantine like you know healthcare workers it's funny to us because we know what we're dealing with and it kind of lightens all the bad stuff we're dealing with right now it's nice to know you can still find humor and, and such chaos. So yeah, definitely be grateful, stay home, stay safe, please, because it is not fun in the hospital and you can't have no visitors. And that is my main thing. Like, God forbid things go wrong and you have no one there to support you. So besides the quarantine, like what else are you guys up to? Like, what are you doing? What do you hope to do? Like, what's the first thing you're gonna do when everything kind of returns back to normal? I'm really praying by June, before June actually, like we're in April right now. So hopefully early May, the latest, I am hoping things die down because I have vacation planned in June and I really want to go. It's soon after and it's like, is that smart? I don't know, but I still want to go. After everything we're going through at work and stuff, like we deserve it. So yeah, I don't know if any nurses are watching, but hey guys, and I hope you guys are coping or if you have family members that work in the healthcare field, um, give them my regards and I hope that they stay safe and are staying sane because it definitely is a crazy crazy time I know some stuff I've been doing was like cleaning my house like taking out things that I don't need or don't use as much Organizing you know us Virgos too like that's all we do making mad lists that I don't <laughs> half the stuff I don't get to and I rewrite them on a new list but I'm trying to be more intentional with everything that I'm doing and what I really want to do first how it's going to benefit me and when I'm tired I just need to accept that fact that I'm tired because it's not like I'm home and just being lazy like I'm still working and it's mentally exhausting like one day after working just two shifts in a row I was like exhausted the next day when I woke up um the day that I had off and I just I stayed in bed for a good part of the day, like, woke up, did a little couple of things, went back to sleep. It just really takes a toll on you. But besides that, yeah, like cleaning, um, working on like videos or thinking, trying to think of some ideas that you guys would like to see. I'm trying to edit, but you can only do so much editing in a day. Sometimes I have like such a bad day filming that I have to make a lot of edits for it to be to my standards. And that's my problem is also that whole Virgo perfectionist kind of thing. It's like, it has to be up to a certain point for me to want to put it out. It still might not be the best video ever. Like I'm still new to this, but to me, that kind of stuff matters. So doing this kind of like impromptu video, just talk. Like, I don't know when I rewatch it how I'm gonna feel about it. I know a lot of DJs, a main DJ is DJ Nice. He's been out here DJing on the weekends for like hours at a time. And everybody's kind of in that chat, listening to the music, enjoying their life at home. So that's awesome for him to still be doing that. Like you have your passion that, you, that you're kind of used to and it's nice that you're using it to your advantage and he has a platform. Like you're very well known. Brings joy to people. And music always brings people together. So yeah, I thought that was really cool. My hair is so minty. So again, this is how it looked after washing and deep conditioning. Very, very defined, yo. Like I could look through my Mass Monday video. Probably won't catch my hair this defined. But like I said, this happened after even using the clarifying product. So it was lit. I'm also trying to figure out, I've been saying for a while that I was just kind of going to expand the channel and start doing more things than hair, more nursing related videos and those kind of things, lifestyle. And I just, I haven't had the time, honestly. And they're pretty easy to do, like, you know, sit down, chit chat videos. Um, but a lot of videos, I want to make them more informational so you can really come here and know that you're getting good answers. There's a couple of people who have messaged me about like nursing like to do videos on those like how I got into nursing school these kind of things and I do want to be a resource for younger people that's something I always hope to do so I need to start working on that there's some things I'm like been thinking about lately so if we also do have a summer I'm trying to think of like all the things I want to do because I did take time in the summer 
um, in June, July. I might have to get rid of my July one actually because I took in May, in March. I just took some time. Um, and then August, I have two weeks out, like going into September, and that's kind of when that time is up of me, like all the things I'm trying to plan for my life and where I want to go from now for my future and stuff. I, that's gonna kind of be the time. And my birthday's in August, so after all this stuff too, I'm just kind of like I do want to have a party or just something to like celebrate with you know friends and stuff, family. I gotta start thinking about that too. So hopefully everything's okay by then before you know fall kind of comes and got to deal with that. Like I want to be able to enjoy the warm weather and enjoy my friends, enjoy my family and really you know just really enjoy the moment too because that's another problem I've been having like I sometimes I wouldn't go certain places with certain people because like people just want to be on their phones the whole time or you know like recording what's going on like it's cool like couple stories or whatever but like you always on your phone while we're out like that's annoying to me I don't like that like, I like to enjoy the moment and a lot of people aren't like that so it's kind of annoying like I feel like people just go out to show other people that they're out and I'm like we're too old for that and I think that's why I kind of stay home most of the time if there's nothing really going on that I'm not really excited to be a part of i'm like let me stay my behind at home because nobody's even interesting nobody's freaking like you know interacting with each other they just flexing so yeah do you guys have anything like that was pre-planned before all this craziness happened like do you have trips coming up if so where to or what are some of your like favorite travel destinations i'm just like rambling random stuff while i do my hair but like travel is like a big thing to me and especially after all this like i was thinking like should i go back home just so i could you know, you know, get rid of debt quicker, but also be able to travel more. Like being restricted like this, like again, I don't mind being home, but to not be able to travel and, you know, see all that's out there. And like, you know, time's going, like the years are passing by, like things change, life changes, like you start settling down and all this craziness. And traveling sometimes can't be like your number one priority where it can be right now. So there's just so much I want to do. And I'm not a fan of being a part of all this craziness right now in the hospitals, especially with how they've been treating us like healthcare workers and stuff it's just so much going on like my mind just be all over the place like should i do something else but i love what i do i love working with kids and this whole working with adults thing right now not feeling it at all so yeah i have to kind of figure out what i want to do with my life but then also i want to travel when you get rid of debt and then now what you're making you can save and also you know splurge in between on some trips at a time during the year i feel like i really want to do that and at least i'd be able to like you know you can pay for like at least one family member to go with if you don't have any friends or anything that could afford it or don't have the time off you could kind of take someone with you so yeah after being restricted like this is definitely a good time to settle down and figure out what you want to do and plan it so that way when things get better health wise for like the country and everything and all these other countries that you want to travel to you can kind of just go do it just book that ticket and go but yeah like some places on my list i mostly want to hit the caribbean like all different islands first i don't know that's just my thing like when i think of vacation like i don't want to be doing too much and like i don't know how people do like amusement parks and all this stuff like their whole vacation like i'd rather do that when i'm tired with kids and be tired regardless i'll still like disney then i'll still like all these other stuff then it won't change but at least i'll enjoy it with like kids maybe i'll go once but that shouldn't be like my main vacation like that's too that's doing too much i don't like that vacation i need to wind down i like to relax and you still get to experience things but it's just like on a calmer level like i'm not trying to be all hyped up on vacation and you know like when you're in a different place and mindset like this doesn't necessarily mean like i'm a boring person I I just like to be in a certain environment and then we'll turn up in that environment but like, like certain stuff is just not for me i guess i just wouldn't enjoy it and it's also like you know the value of money like i look at what i spend to get a whole kind of different experience and people are spending like way more than i am didn't even leave the country and people could spend more than i did on a trip out the country still here doing the same thing they did for the past three years but again it's up to the person's preference if that's what they want to do but then i don't like when people like also complain like oh you know they don't have money to do this and do that and I'm like, yeah, because you're just doing the same ratchet shit every year. We're going to go on to our last section. My hair usually gets pretty dry when I keep it out like this in sections while I'm styling my hair. You guys seen in my other videos that I always have to refresh a lot. I feel like I've refreshed less and my hair is still very damp. So I'm like, ooh, is it that, that hyaluronic acid? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. That's that curse mat. Yo, my hair smells so good from that line. I can't. So yeah, I want to go more Caribbean islands. 
because I've definitely been trying to get back to Turks and Caicos. I don't know how it was that cheap when we first went a couple years back and it has not been that cheap since. Found a couple deals sometimes and of course they just went away so quick. Couldn't book it at that point. So yeah, I really wanted to go this year, you know, for my 25th birthday. But yo, the vibe, that water, that sand, everything about that place is amazing. The food was good. Some of the people there were a little ugh. So that place is British territory. Um, but I feel like it's a lot of people from other Caribbean countries coming and then when they see other like black people or colored people there, they kind of, I don't know if it's something like they resent you, oops, but they act like they don't want to help you sometimes. And I'm kind of like, ew, you ain't getting no tip then. Cause I like to tip people. So yeah, that's the only thing I didn't really like about Turks and Caicos, but overall the experience, the place itself is just beautiful. And if somebody said they would send me somewhere, no matter where I asked, I would choose there. So yeah, I kind of, I really want to do the Caribbean first and then maybe I'll kind of venture into, you know, Europe and that kind of stuff. But like, I'm not all crazy about like France, Italy, Spain, I don't know. But find a good deal, like I'm out there. So yeah, let me know where you guys want to go or like dream locations. I really want to go to Greece too, but I don't know how I'm gonna feel about their food. So yeah, they can wait. And then, you know, just longer flights and stuff. I'm like, am I ready for all that? I like my little four hour flight, walk off the plane, it's hot. You just be ready. That's one thing I don't like doing is waiting after the airport. So I always book like transfers straight from the airport because I'm trying to hop in a car and go to my hotel, put my bathing suit on. If it's not on already, to the beach, to the pool, going everywhere. So yeah, I just like to chill, you know, have your little drink, swim in some clear water. And it's crazy because you see like a whole lot of people from Europe vacationing at, at these Caribbean islands and stuff. And their kids are so well behaved. Like I don't know what Americans do with their kids, but our kids are wild. They don't make no extra noise. They just be chilling and they don't be leaving stuff on the beach. All this nastiness that we be doing over here. So we need to get it together. That's why we can't have nothing nice. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that, but that's like the kind of stuff I notice. I never notice anything, I guess, super important. So yeah, just let me know what you guys like to do on vacation, where you wanna go, where you've been that you really like. Give me some suggestions. Where you usually find like cheap tickets, air flights and all that stuff, or the best time to book, those kind of things for sure. I would appreciate. Are some of you guys still in school? Are you doing like online classes or what's going on? Or do you have kids? What are they doing? I know some schools opted out of doing that video learning stuff and then they just decided to just give a packet every week and the kids need to complete it and, you know, send it in. I think that's kind of whack. Like you could at least do like kind of hybrid stuff like, okay, we'll meet on one time, like Mondays, go over what you're gonna be doing for the week. Just so like kids can see your face still and be, you know, still feel like they're part of something. Not feel like completely lost. Like that's kind of messed up to just dump them and be like, here's a packet. But that's just my opinion. I actually did want to be a teacher when I was in high school, but I did decide to become a nurse. Um, my difference was just, you know, I liked working with kids, but I was like, you know, those kids are healthy. They are able to learn and stuff. So that was a little more meaningful to me. And teachers do not get the recognition they deserve and neither do nurses, but teachers for sure. Especially during this kind of time, parents are fed up with their kids. And I was like, oh, but you just like to complain about their teacher all the time, right? Like they don't do nothing. And imagine they're de not dealing with just your kid. They're dealing with like 18 other kids in the classroom or 12 whatever it is so be grateful I'm gonna be one of those parents that well if my kid likes the teacher and, or if I like them myself that I will do nice things for them on like holidays and you know stuff like that teachers appreciation we but if you suck first of all my kids are not gonna stay in your class but you also ain't getting no nice gifts what's something you guys usually do in the summertime that you still plan to do or something new that you want to kind of start doing now so we are wrapping up here I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a chat but also getting to see like how these products are working into my hair and I think they work pretty well I'm trying to like moisturize every possible part of my hair so I didn't even know which way to part my hair honestly <sighs> I forgot that I didn't want to do this middle part. I'm trying not to, but we'll see. I kind of put this part back, the sides on the side. So I think I'm gonna let my hair sit for a little bit. I will work on maybe this first part of the video editing while I wait for it to air dry a bit and I'll diffuse it and then come back in and show you guys my final results. So I really do love Pearl Smith. Their products are very expensive, but your hair looks like money after two.
All right, guys, so these are my final results. So I let my hair air dry, which I usually don't do, but since I'm not doing anything today, I let it air dry for about an hour and a half to two hours, and then I just went in and diffused it. So it's about 95% dry, I think. There's just a couple of pieces that are still a little damp. But overall, so I kind of did just a little side part here. I kind of just threw this over. I'm trying to give the middle of my hair a break, like I said from the beginning. But yeah, so that is all, guys. So if you like this type of video, let me know that also down below. And yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying your time in this quarantine and making the most of it like we discussed earlier. So that brings us to the end of this video. Please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up on this video. Also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I've gotten a few new subscribers so thank you guys so much for subscribing and if you haven't already make sure you do so now i will also link my instagram profile down below i do also do some igtv videos on there or post on my stories that are hair related so definitely follow me on there if you do have instagram and i'll catch you in my next video bye